I'm a health psychologist. My background and training is actually in social and developmental psychology. We do a lot of stuff in what's a field called psychoneuroimmunology. The mind and the body, it really is kind of that sort of point of where, you know, what we think from a mental standpoint impacts things like the immune system. Health psychologists study another variable called perceived discrimination. And what they look at are those little sort of daily microaggressions. You know, so they ask questions like, you know, I, I'm treated with less courtesy in stores. You know, people act as if I'm not smart. And they find that the more of those you say yes to, the higher your inflammation levels. You know, so the question is, you know, how, do, how does breastfeeding address discrimination? Well, remember, you know, when you are experiencing discrimination, you know, you have that upregulation of that inflammatory response system. Mm -hmm. Breastfeeding is one of the things that actually turns that off. And so all those diseases that are much more common in African Americans, you know, we know it lowers the risk. You know, if a mom can breastfeed for a year, it dramatically lowers her risk of things like heart disease and diabetes and hypertension. It can turn those off, so it helps the mom. But also by getting that sort of mother-infant bond strong, it creates a resiliency in that baby that's actually gonna go on and creates, you know, fewer long-term health problems for that child.